Hey, what's happening, everybody? Welcome back. It's Hertz. It's Garrett. <laughs> it's some more Thief action, and uh, we are we are on death row right now. Um, look at this guy coming back in here. You want some more of this, do you? It hurts. Of course, uh, it's like he called me by name there. He said, "Why it hurts? Why it hurts?" Anyway, I'm trying to get to. Oh. <laughs> I don't think I've ever noticed this. Oh no, I have. I have. No, I haven't. No, I haven't. What the hell is this? Oh yes. Wait a second. I don't remember all the you know the herbs drying here. <laughs> we got we got a, a, a little botanist on our on our hands here. Look at this. Look at all these pot plants. Oh what? Anyway, um, let's uh, move on. I, I have a couple of. I don't want to waste too much time here. I have things I'd like to get done. This episode, I would like to return the skull to Victoria. That's kind of on my list. You can see what well, the active stuff has really started to uh, dwindle. So that's nice. Taking offense, we're in this sector. Actually, both of these I think are in this sector, this death row sector. And you know, if I'm feeling, if I feel so inclined, I, I feel feel like I need to own death row, make it my own. You know, you know what I'm saying? Like I need a little retribution here. So I may just take it upon myself to. I was thinking about that as the game was oh, loading. You know, blue. because I uh, I started a new sesh here. <laughs> Wrap the last one up in my, my little hidey hole. Or over here, <laughs> where I've spent many, goddamn, many episodes <laughs> popping in there, right? Okay, so I, I need to get up to uh, to John Tallow's apartment. There we go. Quickly now, Garrett. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I have to cut through the taxidermist's joint, so let's do this. So I want to do, I want to be able, this episode, the goal is to try and pull off both of these um, jobs for Basso and return that Pulled skull to Vittori. And maybe we'll have a little bit more time for something else. You know, I'm, I am running, I have been running these episodes longer. So hopefully you guys aren't minding that, you know. It's just something I, I feel I have to do at this point in time. <laughs> As I prepare for for watchdogs, and the the truth is, I'm really now that I've been spending more and more time with this game, really digging it. You know, I'm really <laughs> there's just something about it. It just continues to grow on me. You know, I almost don't want to leave it behind. I, I enjoy getting on here as often as I have been lately. Okay, now what was I supposed to be doing here? Uh, I can't even quite remember. Taking the fence, young people these days. Okay, now this is old John Tallow's joint. Relying on traps to protect their stash when a friendly demeanor and good honest bribes work just as well. There's a local fence, John Tallow, who's taken to the streets. The locals call him yellow face. He needs to be taught a lesson. Um, see that he gets that message. So, I, I don't really know what I'm supposed to be doing here. God, you can but, smell the river from here. But, you know, because I already lifted the earrings. And of course, this is just going to. Nothing to do but watch the hanging. Close that. Close up the bars, right? No, it's not going to do anything now. You kill the lights. Okay. Now, I don't know. Oh, here we go. Of course, these are becoming a little more common, commonplace. Love it. There we go. Oh, and now, there was mention of more traps here. Or traps. I don't remember really encountering any traps. It was really just the bars. So I better be careful here. It doesn't look like anything, though. There's 30 gold. There's 35. There's 40. In my experience, it's usually the other way around. <laughs> All right. One. right. There's got to be one more little little treasure stuffed away in this desk. Nothing! The river from here. Guts to grave holes. <laughs> All right, and uh, and you know what, John Tello had that coming. John Tello had that coming. No collectible, and I remember saying he doesn't deserve a collectible in his in his possession. You know, he's a very spiteful individual. After reading his diary, shall I read it again, gentlemen? No, no, I'll let it go. I don't have the time for it. Otherwise, I would. <laughs> Otherwise, I would. Okay, so now what are we gonna do? We got a little retribution here on old John Tello. Then should I try and get a little retribution here on this death row squad? You know what I'm thinking I'd like to do? I could try and increase kind of my uh, my bow strength. Because I, I, we do have that one guy. I wonder what pulling a death card is. 
Oh, uh, we have... What, what do I call him? Elton. <laughs> Actually, no. He only... I was gonna say, I could go in and upgrade my bow and then just go to town with uh, some, some killer arrows here. But uh, old Elton, he doesn't specialize in upgrades like that. Okay, quickly now, I'm going to... We'll take a quick look. I will track the disappearing poet. This uh, was... You know, he... This was Basso wanting... A poem. He was, always was a melancholy bastard, but his poems are worth my weight in gold. That's a quote from Basso. Word is he was working on one last piece, so with him dead now, apparently, uh, the price of his poems will go up, especially for an original copy or a rough draft. So, let's track that up. Close the journal. It's really, it's really close by, and I've had no success trying to pull this maneuver off. Hey, okay? none whatsoever. I'm in the light right now. I'm getting sick. You know what? And what always gives me away, what I noticed when I went back in and, and edited the video, you know, or, or prepared it for render. I really don't do much editing with these. It's really just a matter of tacking on an intro. Lining up the commentary with the... Oh, no. He, he's going to come this way now, isn't he? Oh, no. Well, Garrett, make up your goddamn mind, son. When the dawn what the hell are you doing? This Graven, he, he runs his patrol all ass backwards, you know? Look different than the way the Blacktop did things. I don't know why the rope? It feels a little a little short right now. I, I can't get off of it. Oh, there we go. There we go. Can't be the gloom. You're done, sucker! I've had enough of you! God damn it! Oh, I needed that, people. I really did need that. All right, Overwatch is right, down. Everywhere. Overwatch is down. And I'm going to try and get into this alley. That's what I'm going to bloody well do. Uh, what do I have for, for toys here? A flash bomb. I could go lethal here. <laughs> you know what? And they deserve it. I've got my blast arrow. <laughs> I've got my fire. I don't think that's going to do much. My blast arrow. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to wait for him to go over there. Yep. One of those poor fools must be Hector's thief. Just my luck. Wh who's he talking about exactly? I'm so tired these days. Oh! Oh, shit! Oh, I'm right here for this? Okay. Well, hold on a second then. Since we have stumbled across... The next Ector Soon the dawn phase. Um, the next Ector uh, objective or mission. Search the thief's body for clues. So that's going to be it. Yeah, it's right there. He's hanging. Look at that. Well, how the hell am I getting over there? I wonder if I can... Oh, okay. I can, I can shoot him down. I can shoot him down. But, of course, that's going to uh, alert all this this entire crowd here. Here we go. Got, it's got somebody's attention. There wasn't anything after all. Are you sure, sir? <laughs> Done! Eat it, suckers. Pissing me right off. I'll welcome this Rex. How did I miss that? I could have sworn that was the, where the pulley was. Where the hell is he? Oh! Oh! I get the death from above? Not quite. Huh. I thought for sure that would that would release him. Oh no, there it is right there. Now I see it. No. That's nothing. Now, I hear two of them down there. Must have gone. Caution never killed anyone. Damn graven. Stop trembling. Okay. I'm not really sure what I have to hit there. I 
Okay, he's going about his business. And I may... No, you know what? I, I won't do him in. I won't do him in. I'm going to... I'm going to drop down, though. Okay, here we go. What I'd give for a, coffee. Got a few different things done here. I think he's going to spot me if I come over here. We'll drag him. Oh no, I guess maybe I'll just leave him. Screw it. And I finally want to discover what the hell is down here. Okay, look at this. Look at it all! <laughs> oh my god. Okay, is that it? There is a guy running patrol, but... Oh, wow, this is a tough, uh, a tough pick. Let me tell you, people. You may not, you may not look that way, but it really is. And I, I think I've said that before about, about a few of them. Not that it really matters if I. Well, who knows? There could be another guy down there. I'm kind of playing this a little too brazen, boldly. All right, here we go. What do we have? A water arrow, silver pocket watch. Uh, not really much. I mean, not much considering how difficult the uh, uh, pick that was. Just some leaves there. Got another trunk over there. Things looking good. Scoping out for traps. Not seeing, not seeing anything. And another pick. All right. Oh, and another big one. Look at that. Look how fast that's coming in and going. Okay. Beautiful. Beautiful. Um, no, hopefully this one's a little bit better. A few more arrows. Looks like we have another bait and switch document. One more water arrow. Come, uh, two more water arrows. Bait and switch three. Let's take a quick look at this. Now, that appears, yeah, that's finally the very first one that I did. So there are two more bait and switch points to hunt down. That one really does look like it's out front of the customs house, you know. Could be wrong, though. And I still don't have a clue where that is. Good enough, though. A little flask. A couple cabinets for hiding. And, uh, that looks like it's it. A little knobless <laughs> door for getting a good bagging. Alright. Okay, now I need to figure it away. I'll have to get this man down. I have a feeling. I, I'm finally seeing what I need to hit here. There we go. <laughs> Poor bugger. Oxford, Riverside's notorious pawn bro. Okay, go to Ox. Uh, well, go to Oxheart Perry's pawn shop. Did not get a document there. Could have sworn. There we go. Bill of consignment. Oh, one mechanical voice box. Oxheart Perry. All right, pretty straightforward. I better pay him a visit before he sells the voice box to the highest bidder. All right, now let me get this finally at long last. I already grabbed the collectible. I mean, I, I pulled out the good loot from here. I don't know how I managed to do it clean. It was my first time through this area. And I was, it was like, ignorance is bliss, you know? <laughs> I didn't know just how difficult an area I was traipsing through. Okay, there we go. Pin number four. Just another water arrow, you know? Not much. Okay. Now what I want to do is I want to get uh, the Disappearing Poet. I want to get this tracked one more time. It looks like I'm going to have to go through there. Now, do I, should I stop by Nefarious Needs, man? I, I don't think so. I think I'm probably good. I burned through a couple of blunts there. But, 
as I tried to figure out what I had to be hitting with that one thief. That was just good luck there, you know, I mean, to stumble across the next Ector mission. I'm trying to keep things moving at a decent pace here. So I know where I'm heading next. I got a little revenge on the Death Row crew. Who've been giving me headaches. Now wait a second, wait a second here. This doesn't seem right, I don't... The Disappearing Poet is a way over here. Alright. Seems a, an odd location, but fine. Make the run down the alley. You know, I hope I'm not missing anything. I, I have spent a, a good bit of time down Glimmer Lane here. Is it down low? And since I'm, it uh, looks like I'm heading, gonna be heading to the waterfront here anyway. I guess uh, it would be a good time to return that skull to Vittori, and I'll be able to get that done too. Which is what I wanted to do. It was all part of my master plan, yes. And I think you all can tell I'm settling in nicely now, you know. Just with the game in general, right? And of course, that it, it's bittersweet because I know that it's going to come to an end here soon enough, you know. And I'm really just starting to get my footing. Okay, I'm pretty sure this is one of those uh, shuttered windows. Or no, it wasn't a shuttered window. I remember take, doing a double take on one of these windows that looked like it had the light shining through. But I couldn't actually open it. So obviously now, that's not an issue. This looks like it's going to be a relatively easy one. What am I looking for? Oh, I'm looking for a poem. I'm looking for a poem. Now, there's two levels to this. Oh, there. Are those my footsteps I'm hearing? Are those my footsteps? Do we have a presence in here? A live presence. Tough to tell. This is quite the, uh, this is really opening up here. This joint. I'm gonna do a complete sweep. No, I look good. It looks good. It looks good. What is this crap hanging? I don't know. Alright. Oh, this is the, uh, the pisser. <laughs> this is a fine little pisser they've got here, let me tell you. Alright, um, stay focused. Oh! Oh, scalpel! <laughs> Some interesting artwork, I have to admit. Running out of season. Let's uh, let's take a look at it. Someone has written on the back of this painting in long looping letters. Flight is the greatest paradise of the unreturnable notion. Capitulate. All will be consumed. Okay. This just makes... I don't know. It's just complete nonsense. Most of the time. Unless it's so deep. It's just flying over my head. I don't know. So profound. A statement. <laughs> on the so backs of these. I can't if he wrote this before or after he caught the gloom. Alright, well, we'll check the poem fragments once I collect them all. Because I just, it, I thought it was just going to be one poem, but I guess it's poem fragments. That was part five. Anybody seeing any switches? What are these things hanging? It's just strange. Anyway, I don't want to get hung up. Oh! And even more over here. Look at that. I thought the uh, the apartment had had opened up quite nicely. And uh, whoa, creepy owl. God damn, man. And we have even more right there. So well, let's check this. Another water arrow. Completely unneeded. Damn owl. <laughs> now let's. Might as well open this up. See where it's going. I still have to search the upper floor. Maybe I should do that first. Oh, Garrett making a big ruckus over here as well. No, actually, he didn't make a ruckus. He just he just made a goddamn mess. He made a goddamn mess. Thank you. Thank you. Bag of cookies and a bottle of wine. And there's poem fragment number three. 
Oh, so these are really, <laughs> you know, really hidden away. Oh, we got a trunk here. Haven't checked that yet. There we go. There's number, what is it going to be? Four? Two. I want, I was going to say two first. I was going to say two first, people. <laughs> I thought, no, it wouldn't go in order like that. But of course, it, it is going in order. So I would imagine that there's going to be part one over here in this mess somewhere since I can move it all around. You know? You know what I'm saying? Underneath this. Underneath this thing, I bet ya. There has to be one, you know, because it has kind of gone in order so far. Um, two, three, and then five was downstairs. Maybe up here. There we go. There it is. There she be. Was my head going through the ceiling there? What the hell is going on? Was it one? I, I didn't even look. I didn't. Hopefully somebody caught that. Okay, so now we grabbed five down here, so four, perhaps along the way, could be tucked away in the ventilation. Let's take a quick look here. Might have gotten blowing in here. Ugh. Ugh. Obviously, the spider won the war here. <laughs> a couple times. Oh, it's open. Well, let's close it. It's obviously going to be something behind it. There we go. Oh, I can't get over Shady it. Shady Vane. I can reach over it, though. I know that name. Shady Vane? The Underground Rivers. Shady Vane? Shady Vane? That's the second time I've heard that mentioned. That was, uh... That was the guy hanging in the sewer. That's the guy that killed himself, that hung himself. The guy hanging in the sewer is the great poet here. That's the way it went. Well, let's read the poem, people. As I do a quick check of the time... Yeah, getting a little little long here, but uh, I, I do want to make a run to Vit Vittori as well. Okay, so South Quarter, and... Okay, shadows litter broken ways and wash against the grass, of feeding on the silent sprays of fallen fans of glass, falling from the precipice of all we held to hope, alighting on a carapace of twisted ash and rope, yes, then, r then tumbling through the cracks in time like feathers turned to lead to wreath, themselves an endless mime about the writhing dead to walk this path to see this place where dreams can fall like rain upon the sleeping wash of space where love knows only pain oh, we've entered my realm yes when all is shattered flailing past to sink into the loam the buildings follow suit at last and soldiers dream of home hmm. interesting think that's it people you think it's it I won't be happy unless this, this owl eats a bow and arrow. <laughs> I, I don't know why, I just, I felt compelled. I felt compelled. The poem made me do it. What? Yes, it did. Okay, I think that's all. I really don't... Oh, we do have a little, a little shelf up here. Rope arrow, perhaps? A leap across? A leap of faith? No, he just he just falls down. Yeah, it's probably it's probably just there for show. Anyway, out we go. Grab a sip of my tea. It's gonna be a quick run to uh to the, the Siren's Rest. We'll uh, conclude our business. Hopefully, conclude our business with Vittori. Hopefully, Garrett can find some way to weasel that skull out of his possession. I guess I should uh, mark it up, make it easier. We'll track that. I am down on the waterfront, aren't I? Yeah. Oh, I'm locked out of here. Oh no. Yeah. Okay. Now, now that makes sense because right here is where the guy I found him hanging down at the bottom of that right there. That's great. I love it when little, you know, little discoveries come together to create a kind of a greater story, you know? And there's enough of that here. Okay. I think I'm good to continue on here. 
There will be a guard down here on patrol as well. Hopefully I can beat... Now, okay, now this is where I was thinking... Is Garrett all huffing and puffing for it. You, you tuckered out, sir. Is it time to wrap the episode? Huh? You need a little rest? Well, thank God we're at the siren's rest then. Yes. So I was thinking that that bait and that one bait and switch image was this, the customs house. But I'm not. After looking out front, or just kind of, kind of glancing out there, I don't really see. I'm not seeing the uh, the obelisk. So I could be wrong. It's got to be something else. Okay. Let's go talk to Vittori first. I may do a little buying and selling between episodes just so I'm not eating up time, you know. Hey, Vittori! Uh, I knew you'd be back! Sir. Top job returning my skull, Sarah. The stranger you will meet and see will tall and dark and handsome be. <laughs> I'm not taking that as payment, Vittori. Un hand, o Annie. hand over <laughs> some coin, sir. Then it's twice the truth. You really should join the show, sir. I can imagine it now. The Dark Archer. I'm thinking Black carnival Black owner Black disappears. Ah, Mr. Thief, you return victorious. Of course. Excellent. You are good. I know. Are you sure I can't <laughs> tempt you into the carnival? The legend in leather? Mm -hmm. Oh, it, so it sounds good, good but news, uh, no, I have Mr. to decline. Thief. I know the whereabouts of another of my missing exhibits. Oh, is really? Good news. You don't need me then. No, 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 Sirrah. Do I look like the kind of man who slips into foreign parts in the dead of night? No, I do need you. It's the fabled octopus. Oh my God! <laughs> okay. Octopus. Yes, <laughs> an astonishing act of nature at her I most perverse. A normal cat, you may think at first glance, but no. Eight legs, Sirrah. Eight! Can you believe it? No. No, sir. Bring my freak of nature back to me, Mr. Thief. Your pockets await my coin. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Garrett sounds... Sure. Garrett sounds completely, completely uninterested in this. Uh, Vittori wants me to find and return his astounding exhibit named Octopus, an eight-legged cat. Please, Mr. Thief. The rumors Your have already begun be that a certain collector in Riverside already acquired it. Fine. I have no idea how happy that makes me, Mr. Thief. Thank you many more times than I can say. Over here, the octopus is apparently in some dreary private collection near the gatehouse between Stone Market and Riverside. Okay, I know, I know where that is. That's where I uh, grabbed... I th I'm pretty sure he's uh, referring to the, the, the location that I uh, picked up that very first bust. Going way back to one of the early episodes. Now, somebody was kind of whispering me over here. Oh, maybe it was Nefarious Needs, man. He's li He looks like he wants my attention, but... Piss off! Alright. Well, <laughs> I think I'm going to wrap it right there. I will probably do my buying and selling... Between episodes, guys, just so I can get a, a jump on things. I really w what is this guy doing over here? Black hand supplies that lift her prices. And he's doing nothing. So, uh, would you help an entertainer in need? <laughs> thanks for stopping by. Uh, I hope to see you in the next one, and I hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, but until we meet again, remember why it hurts. Later.